Hi, I'm Hannah Kaplan, and I am on the OSIRIS-REx mission. I do Viz Near Infrared Spectroscopy. Cut, cut. Hannah, I'm sorry. Can you explain it like I'm five? Do, 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 do. OSIRIS-REx went to asteroid Bennu. It is a relatively small body in space. It is rocky. It has boulders all over the surface. Some are big as cars. Lots of them are really tiny too. The materials that we're interested in on Bennu are potentially these ingredients that may have combined to form life on Earth. And so these ingredients would have been delivered with material from asteroids like Bennu and impacted onto Earth and then ultimately been combined and formed into life as we know it. At Bennu, OSIRIS-REx orbited the asteroid. We took a bunch of pictures and a bunch of other data to get a sense of what it was like there. And then we found the place on the surface that was the smoothest, had the least big boulders so that we could get the spacecraft to the surface without crashing into anything. We then took a sample from the surface by touching down onto the surface and essentially sucking it up, which then was deposited into the spacecraft itself. And then we flew that sample back home in the spacecraft and dropped it off at Earth. And now we're studying it in the lab. One of the reasons we wanted to bring the sample back to Earth is that we have all these amazing laboratories on Earth that we can't possibly fit onto a spacecraft. So in the laboratory, we're able to look at the sample in really great detail and try and see those ingredients that we were looking for, those things that combined potentially to form life on Earth. And so we can see what exactly is in the sample that way. This will take us one step closer to unlocking where the ingredients for life on Earth may have come from.